There is a seat that has been formed to investigate this entire matter. The fact is, we are all witnessing, not only the people of Bengal, but the entire country has been witnessing the medieval barbarity and the dastardly act of those heinous criminals in cahoots with the local police administration. The reason being, the entire plundering, looting, and, and the killing of those innocent women and children had taken place in the village named after Bhaktui, where there was an existence of police camp. So the entire incident took place in the full glare of police. Because you can easily understand that the area is just adjacent to the city. But for hours together, those, those criminals, those hooligans, those killers, they have been indulged by the local police administration to perpetrate these kind of heinous crimes and that also with impunity. This is the, this is the real uncouth face of Bengal's government and Bengal's administration. We do not know how many of the innocents have so far been killed. The entire toll had not been revealed so far. The incident taken a toll of according to the police estimate till now eight, but the fire brigade, they have been depicting the another picture, 10, someone 12. So still it is unclear that how many innocents have been burned to death. They have been, the entire house, one after another house in this village, Bhaktui, have been set ablaze by those criminals, by those killers. Can you, can you imagine the, can you imagine the barbarity? It is nothing but medieval barbarity, which has been, uh, has been a same, which has been really a shameful episode for us. We are all, we are all witnessing the episode of this kind of Bhaktui incident, which has all already been carved out as a most obnoxious, obnoxious face of this Bengal regime. Dada Mamta Banerjee herself, she came here, she said that there was police negligence. The IO, SDPO have been removed. See, I, I would refer one issue. When Sital Kuchi incident took place in Kuchi Bihar during the, during the course of election, SP was immediately suspended. But why not in the case of Bakhtui, when if just a few yards away from the city, the gruesome incident was taking place, then why the SP Birhum districts has not been suspended? She has also hit it out at uh, an outsider involvement in this. See, this is simply a ploy to hide the criminal face of this government. Here, the political leaders of the ruling party, they are all the political stalwarts of these districts. Everybody knows that here, there is a unholy nexus prevailing among the leaders, criminals, police in order to loot, in order to plunder our natural resources, which is are very much available in the district Birhum. So right now, right now I think the law and order situation has been deteriorating much to the alarming space in the state of West Bengal. Here nobody can claim that he or she is safe right now under this regime. So I have proposed to the president of our country that at least Article 355 could be considered in given the precarious situation of the state where in the last one week, only in the last one week, 26 people have been killed, have been butchered. So this land has become the land of the ruling party's butchers. This much I can say. That was uh, Adiranjan Chaudhary who has stated that he has gone to the president as well and uh, he wants 356 for West Bengal. Now he had a tour over here and he saw the houses that were burned down and uh, he came rightly after Mamta Banerjee did and a BJP delegation is scheduled to come over here in this village as well. With camera person Kiranjit Suryagni Roy for India Today, Birbhum.